Hi everyone, David Jackson here with Sling and Stone Marketing, where I share with you the tools and strategies to help you market your business online. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and click the bell so that you'll be notified when I post new videos. In this video, I'm going to walk you step by step through setting up an SSL certificate and a wildcard SSL certificate using SiteGround's new interface. They have recently moved away from cPanel and have created their own interface, which makes things really easy and I'm very impressed with it because it only takes a couple of clicks to get things done. So let's get started. So the first thing you are going to do is sign into your SiteGround account and this will bring you to your account homepage. And we're going to come up here to the top and click on websites. And as you can see here, I currently have two websites created on my account. Uh, this one here is just a temporary domain name, uh, which I created in another video. So I'm going to use that for the purposes of this tutorial. So in order to install an SSL certificate, we're going to come down here and click on site tools. And then over here on the left in the menu, we are going to click on security and then go down to where it says SSL manager and click on that. Then here it says install new SSL. We are going to select the domain name, which is this temporary domain name that I have, but it should show your domain name for your website. And then for the SSL certificate that we are going to select, we are going to choose the option between the Let's Encrypt or the Let's Encrypt wildcard. Now, depending on what you use your website for will determine which certificate you're going to use. So for instance, if you are not going to have a lot of subdomains on your website, then you only really need to use the Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. But if you are going to have multiple, multiple subdomains, such as like store.domain.com and images.domain.com and video.domain.com, and you have five or six different subdomains that you use each of those subdom subdomains for a different reason, then it would be better if you just went ahead and did the wildcard SSL certificate because that way you only need to create one certificate that will cover all of those different subdomains rather than creating a separate certificate for each subdomain. So the decision is up to you. You can either do the regular Let's Encrypt SSL certificate or if you know that you're going to have a lot of subdomains then you can go ahead and choose the wildcard. Then once you've made your choice, come over here and click on get. All right, then in SiteGround will automatically go through and it will set up your certificate for you. It will take probably about a minute or two. All right, and now it's done. And you can see down here at the bottom, I have my domain name along with the certificate. It's active and it has the date when which it will expire. Now you don't have to worry about when it expires. SiteGround will automatically renew it for you so that you don't have to sign back in and try and keep track of renewing the certificate when it, when it expires. It's all automatically done for you. So then the next thing that I like to do is I like to come over here to the left and then click on HTTPS enforce. And then for the domain that I just installed the SSL certificate, I want to come over here to where it says HTTPS enforce and toggle that to on. And what that does is it makes your website work over the HTTPS connection. So for instance, if someone were to insert your domain name without using the HTTPS, this will automatically redirect it to the secure version of your website. So it's something that you definitely want to have because you want to make sure that all of your visitors are using a secured connection to your website. Once that is done, you're all set. You have set up an SSL certificate for your domain name and you have enforced to make sure that everyone is using a secured connection to your website. If you found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you click the subscribe button. And if you followed along with this tutorial and was able to get your SSL certificate set up for your website, leave a comment below using the hashtag GiantSlayer. I thank you all so very much for taking your time to watch this video. And until next time, go out and slay some giants.